All right, yes, we are recording this. And number 10, I want to find the limit as we approach 4 from the negative side. Now, you actually can ignore that negative to start with because we first wanted to see what's the limit as it approaches 4. If that does not exist, then you pay attention to the negative. So first of all, plug in 4. No nope, problem, 0 on the bottom. OK, do the limit now. Well, with this is a, whenever you have the square root thingy on top, you could do something where you multiply by the conjugate. Since that's a minus, it's a plus. And this is a little quick little method to get a removable discontinuity. And so you leave the word, the, the limit in front. OK, when I multiply these, I do a FOIL. And you're going to end up with x, and then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And because this times this and this times this will cancel each other, leaves you an x minus 4 here, and the square root of x plus 2 here. So the top, when you FOIL out, gives you this. The bottom keeps. And you notice a removable discontinuity because you can cancel that. So you now have the limit as x approaches 4 from the negative side of 1 over the square root of x plus 2. Now, doing that, what that did is it created a new equation where there was a hole it got filled in. There was a hole here at 4. x equals 4, but now it got filled in. So we could actually find the limit. So all we do now is plug in 4. So 1 over the square root of 4 plus 2, which is 1 over 4 because that becomes 2. So the limit is 1 fourth. So the, from the negative side, it's also going to be 1 fourth because it's where they both approach. This one, you can't do a factoring cancel method. Um, you can't plug in 2, so you're stuck with either a table or a graph. Let's just do the table. And if we're approaching 2 from the positive side, so we're approaching this way, if we're approaching 2, that would probably be 3 and 4. Now, we could put like 2.1 2 and a whole bunch of decimals, but let's just try these first because you will find out these tell you enough information. When you plug in 3, you end up with 3 minus 2 over 3 minus 2 which looks like 1 over 1. Is that right? So you get 1. When you plug in 4, you also get 1. So if these are both 1, it probably has a trend of always being 1. So the limit is probably simply going to be 1 because the path is 1, so it's probably going to be 1. Now, if this was from the negative side, you'd make a table approaching from the negative side, and it would probably be a different answer.